Hey, what up, boys? So with this month's live stream approaching once again, it's time for a prediction to set expectations. Expectations for a subject that nobody knows what it is. Great subject choice this month, by the way, guys. I'm sure nobody will be overwhelmingly disappointed as we see the same Kalar nodes in the Riverlands again. But before we get into that, our beautiful patrons and coped out the wazoo Twitch subs and I would love for you to grab yourself a Kyopa Kyola because commissions are definitely an odd subject to be showing so close to the Alpha 2's release and it begs the question why 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 so today I'm going to attempt to resupply your copium just so the showcase achieves that oh so delicious crippling disappointment we've become so used to over the last six years of our life now with all that bollocks out of the way let's begin shall we So before we can appreciate the genius that is commissions and why they're the subject of a whole live stream six months before the game's most important marketing beat, we need to understand where they come from and the function they have in this highly anticipated MMORPG. To put it simply, and what was also explained by Roshan when asked by the community, commissions are single objective quests. What? Yes, that's right. This month's livestream is all about literally collecting 10 bore asses. Riveting. You know how much I sacrificed? But is there more to this system, and as such, more to this upcoming stream? Because it seems rather strange for them to show something so basic, even if it is to garner a little feedback. Well, there isn't just one type of commission in Ashes of Creation. And although it's confirmed that this month isn't focusing on that other type of commission, it's important to talk about the system as a whole so we understand the direction of Stephen Sharif's Immaculate Vision. For you see, during our exciting showcase of a level 3 node that blew everyone out of the water, even though this system already existed in Alpha 1, but it seems to have been completely reworked from the ground up, and everything that was present in the Alpha 1 was just a waste of time, they gave us a presentation outlining a few of the core mechanics involved with nodes. Commissions in our game is basically a simple type of quest with a singular objective, and there will be other types of commissions, like, you know, quest-related ones, narrative-related ones, you know, but uh, mayors will have access to initiate mayoral commissions, which are kind of special, and these are commissions that are meant to help the node in some way. And then the node will be rewarded based on the amount of players that complete these commissions. So, you know, kind of back to how we were talking about, this is one of the, like, ways to generate more mandates. If you're doing commissions and a lot of players are completing them and helping out the node, you'll be getting some more mandate power. And yeah, and the players will be rewarded as such. So you can get things like experience, node reputation, node currency, and other, other different kinds of rewards for helping out the node. Yeah, the commissions basically just cost gold from the treasury for the mayor to initiate, and they'll have a limited number of commission slots active at one time. And then you can have a variety of uh, commissions that'll be uh, enabled based on the node type, its location, you know, the predominant node race, and different building choices, right? So there'll be a lot of different options for the mayor to try to see what they want to try to incentivize their players to, their citizens to, and other visiting players to work on. Just to be clear, there are mayoral commissions, and then there are node commissions, right? And the node commissions are just general commissions that interact with the world around you, the POIs that exist around your node, um, and the mayoral ones are specifically chosen. Chris, if you want to talk a little bit about that. Yeah, the mayoral commissions are specifically chosen by the mayor. It is similar to the regular commission system, but that system is more uh, system generated. Right, so anyone can participate in a mayoral commission, but uh, we, for mandates, like I said, we track the uh, citizen participation in those. Right, the mayoral commissions are available for a limited time. There's no limit on the amount of players that can complete them. Right, um, and you can't repeat one that's active. Right, but once that timer runs out, based on how many people completed it, will determine kind of what reward the node gets as a result of that commission. Mm -hmm. Mayoral commissions are the closest thing we have in relation to this month's showcase, and these play a huge role in both the player-driven element and allowing a node to make important tactical decisions. As explained, these types of commissions persist for a certain amount of time, and depending on how many players actually complete the task, it offers the node a plethora of different rewards. These come in the form of commodities, which are the vendor items purchased with glint and used in caravan runs, node to node reputation, which likely relates to node alliances within the vassal system, mandates, which are special buffs that mayors can activate using a node's limited energy pool, and finally, temporary and likely less powerful buffs for buildings and zones. Now, if most of this stuff has gone completely over your head, I get it, right? Ashes of Creation is a very complicated game with a lot of interlinking systems that sound innovative and maybe even overwhelming on paper, but ultimately, they are 
are just basic MMO mechanics we've been used to, so try not to overthink it all. Basically, all you need to know is that mayoral commissions are initiated by your node's mayor and change depending on the node type, location, and building choices. With that said, let's try to visualize what these actually are and how they exist within the world of Vera. And actually, there is a very simple way to do this. New World. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to jump scare you there, but New World actually has a very primitive version of this system with their quest boards. I suspect their quest board system was directly inspired from Ashes of Creation's bulletin boards, and by association, seem like they originate from EverQuest's City Task quests. Over the last few months, we've actually seen what I believe is the bulletin board for a node. When you approach this bulletin board, it acts as the game's group finder and social hub for citizens, giving information like the local marketplace for player trading, a simple group finder in itself, and of course, a tab for viewing these commissions. Using New World's UI, I suspect both mayoral commissions and normal commissions will be represented like this for ease of viewing. However, as I mentioned earlier, it is confirmed that this month's livestream will not be focused around mayoral commissions, and will instead just feature the normal systems-driven ones. So then, what the hell are normal commissions? Well, it's probably the exact system that exists in New World, just very basic, time-based quests that require you to go out and complete basic activities, and that leads us nicely onto... Why? 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 Why, why, why are they showing us such a simple, uninteresting topic so close to the Alpha 2's launch? Does this livestream have a much more important underlining impact on the general game's progress? Will we see more than just a Kalar node in the Riverlands? Or perhaps Intrepid genuinely believe that people want to see them collecting 10 bore asses. Personally, I'm really not sure what Intrepid have in store for us this month. The system does seem fairly lackluster, so I'm expecting another event livestream reaction. What you got to remember is that Intrepid are a new team who have come together to build one of the most ambitious MMORPGs in existence. So the completion of a core system like this is probably a huge achievement for them. It just comes across to us as viewers patiently waiting for this game as a something not very special because we've already seen systems like this in other games. I think the only real thing that could pull this livestream from being fairly mid is one, the inclusion and demonstration of different node types, showing how completing these quests upgrades a node from one stage to another, but most importantly, showing how the races influence the node as they progress, because these are all core systems that are still missing in the overall equation. Asian. In addition, I would also bring up the desert or tropics, but at this point, I think everyone has given up hope that the desert and tropics even exist, which again is very strange considering how close Alpha 2's launch actually is. But as usual, I am just one nerd desperate for a good MMO. And hey, you there, are you sick of talking about a game that quite literally doesn't exist? Do you want to chill out and watch a balding middle-aged man struggle through a game that you literally don't care about? Well, have I got a bargain for you. For the small, small price of six hours of your life every evening, and of course your Twitch Prime that costs you absolutely nothing, you can come watch us play Nightingale over at twitch.tv forward as we we wait for Intrepid to disappoint us with a bunch of kill and collect quests because we're high on copium.